What's up guys, Chase here with another tutorial and in this video we're going to be discussing how to fix your IP DNS address could not be found. When you go to a website and you get that nice little error message. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we are connected to the internet and we're going to select this little icon in the bottom right and open up the network and internet settings. The first thing we want to do here is to take a look at the network troubleshooter. This is going to make sure that we don't have any issues with one of the adapters, whether we're on Ethernet or on Wi-Fi. If you're not sure how you're connected, obviously choosing all network adapters to diagnose is the way to go. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to ask us a couple more questions. Now, because this specific issue really only affects certain websites rather than all websites, we're going to try to reach a specific website here. If we're having trouble accessing one particular website, we can just try to see if there's an error with this particular website or if it's with our network adapter. So the troubleshooter couldn't identify this problem and that's because I don't have an issue with reaching google.com. So in this specific instance, we're going to go ahead and close the troubleshooter and we're going to tackle this problem a different way. We're going to close out of here. And in the search bar, we're going to go ahead and open up our command prompt. We're going to want to right click this and run as administrator so that we have full access. And in our command prompt, what we're going to do is flush our DNS. This is going to reset our network adapter to our internet service provider. So we're going to type in IP config, all one word, forward slash flush DNS and hit enter. Again, this is going to reset our adapter's connection to our local network. Just to further solidify our resetting of all of these issues, if that first one didn't work, we're going to go and select, type in ipconfig slash register DNS. And it looks like everything's good to go here. There's a couple more things we can do if those first two don't solve your issue. So let's go ahead and type in ipconfig forward slash release. And this is going to manually release our DNS. And you'll notice that I am offline at the current moment. Now we're going to want to renew our DNS connection. So we'll type in ipconfig slash renew. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I am now reconnected to the ethernet. For a few final steps here, just in case resetting, flushing and renewing our DNS settings didn't fix the issue. We've got one more trick up our sleeve. And we're going to type net sh winsock reset. And we're going to have to manually restart our computer in order to fully access this reset. And that is how you fix the issue where you have a server IP slash DNS address could not be found. Don't forget to subscribe.